Hey, what's up? It's Weight Loss Wednesday, and let's talk about week 10 and 11. Welcome to Midlife Mama. I'm Tiffany, and on this channel, I hope you will find hope, inspiration, encouragement, and some practical tips on mommyhood and self care after 40. If you're new here, consider subscribing, joining the YouTube family, and coming along for the ride. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for being here, for your support, and for rocking with the channel. And welcome back. In today's video, it's Weight Loss Wednesday, and I will be covering weeks 10 and 11. So if, it, if this is your first update, I will iCard the rest of the updates up at the top so that you can catch up on the updates and see how far I've come and where I've started. If you're new here though, I have been following Weight Watchers and the DASH diet. I am currently in week 10 and 11, and so that's what this update we'll cover i want to talk about what i've been eating cheat days smart points for weight watchers and taking a break and getting back on track after a break so with all of that said let's just get into this update okay so what have i been eating i have been eating a lot of my staples and let me tell you what those are so i've been eating a lot of i have notes right here i keep reaching for them I've been eating a lot of my staple meals, things that I am very sure on the point value of and things that I know for sure are permissible on the DASH diet. So I have been eating a lot of poultry, a lot of chicken, a lot of turkey. I've tried to incorporate fish. I've had salmon a couple of times, but mostly chicken and turkey. And also I have been eating a lot of vegetables, salads, a lot of fruit, mostly berries. I love bananas, so I've been eating bananas as well. I do have the occasional tablespoon or two of peanut butter, and I've been eating eggs. So yeah, those are my staples. That's what I consume on a daily basis. And you'll see some of the pictures of the things that I eat flashing, flashing up here or over here somewhere. <laughs> I'll be putting pictures throughout the video of the things that I have been eating, but that is what I have been eating and focused on for the last couple of weeks. And so that has been going well. Um, so the next thing that I wanna talk to you guys about is smart points. If you follow Weight Watchers, Weight Watchers has what is known as smart points. And there are a certain number of points that you can use to go towards the times when you maybe are out to dinner or maybe it's a special occasion or you're at an event and you don't want to use your daily points for that you can go beyond your daily points and dip into your smart points so what i use my smart points for this is how i use my smart points i use them for what i call cheat moments i don't have specific cheat days i have cheat moments and that is specifically because of what I do for a living. I take in calories at work, I work in pastry, I do a lot of tasting, and that is required for me to for quality control, for menu planning, all of that requires tasting, so I do take in calories at work. I use my smart points for the calories that I take in during the course of a week at work because the smart points are for a week. You have that span of points to use during the course of a week and then they start over right after your weigh-in. So I use my smart points for cheat moments. When I'm, at, when, I, when I'm at work and I have to take in calories and I have to taste something, I use my smart points for that um, so that I do not have to worry about uh, tracking them or <laughs> tracking every little thing that I taste in the tracker. There's really no time for me to stop and grab my phone and put in the things that I have to taste at work. And there's no telling what I'm gonna have to taste at work. So I can't really plan it. So I use my smart points for that and I call those cheat moments. 
When I am at work, those are the times when I get my sugar fix. So I try not to uh, take in too many sweets at home. I have, however, discovered these cookies, just ginger molasses cookies from Ruby Snap. They're in our local grocery store and those cookies are so good. <laughs> They're so good. And so luckily I do not have to go to my grocery store a lot. So I don't have to resist temptation of going over to that cookie stand and getting a ginger molasses cookie. I did, however, buy the cookie dough. And when I am craving a cookie, I just take out a couple and bake them off, eat a cookie, and then I'm done with it. It's a six point cookie. And uh, I think earlier in the update, I've, I explained that you make wiser choices and you decide whether you wanna spend six points on a cookie or not. And sometimes that cookie is so good that the answer to that question is yes. I definitely want to spend my six points on that cookie because it is delicious. <laughs> so anyway, that is a really good cookie. If you have a Ruby Snap anywhere near you in your local grocery store, uh, check out that ginger molasses cookie. It's fantastic, but don't eat too many of it. So yes, that is what I use my smart points for. I use them for work and I also, and if I'm going to eat a cookie, if I'm going to take in or if I'm gonna indulge myself and have a ginger molasses cookie I really just track that and it becomes part of my daily points I track it the good news is there's a ton of zero point foods on Weight Watchers so you can sort of supplement if you have eaten some high point value foods you can sort of supplement with the zero point foods and still feel like you're not being deprived of food for the day so yes Cheat days, I call cheat moments because I take in a lot of cheat, cheat things at work and I do enjoy the occasional cookie from Ruby Snap. And some of y'all are saying, what? You don't make your own ginger molasses cookies? Sometimes I do, yes, but this saves me a lot of trouble <laughs> and I don't have to make a whole batch of cookies. I can just pull one out of the freezer, out of that little bag, put, them, uh, put a couple on a sheet pan and bake them and craving is solved. So yes, the I do not do a lot of baking at home for the simple reason that my household, is they're not dessert eaters. I am the dessert eater in the household and I do not need to make the desserts home, at home and be the only one to eat them. So I refrain from baking at home. I get my baking fix at work and it works out for everyone <laughs> okay so moving on to the next thing many of you know if you haven't seen the vlog it's up live I'll archive it up here at the top many of you know that I recently went to my 30 year high school reunion and I traveled to California for that and while I was in California for that weekend I really took a break from Weight Watchers I didn't really take a break from the DASH diet, so to speak, but I really did take a break from Weight Watchers and tracking and worrying about my points for the day. I didn't have to do a lot of eating out because I do have family in California and we were able to eat home cooked meals while we were in California. I did have dinner at the reunion, but it was mostly salad. I had a piece of grilled chicken and I did eat a breadstick at the reunion and yeah that's what I ate if I didn't eat a home cooked meal from uh, one of my family members homes I took a break from Weight Watchers and tracking and so coming back from that and getting back on getting back to tracking has been a bit of a challenge and so I have not been I got out of the habit for a few days of, of not tracking so I've not been tracking consistently this week. So my goal the coming week is to be better at tracking and to keep control over what I am eating and tracking it and being on top of that. So yeah, that's it's a challenge though. It's been a challenge to get get back into 
you know, weight loss mode because I, I took myself out of it. I didn't want to be worried about it while I was out. I just really wanted to enjoy seeing my friends again and enjoy my family and not really have to worry too much about how many points I was taking in or what I was eating. So it's been difficult to get back into the swing of things, but I think I can get back on track if I really focus on it. So my goal this week is to be more focused and to track more often and track more consistently. Okay. And that's really it. You guys, that's all I wanted to, uh, update you guys on. Um, the last thing I need to tell you guys is what the weight loss has been and the weight loss for the last two weeks is four pounds. I lost four pounds in week 10. I didn't lose any weight in week 11. I stayed the same, but that brings my total weight loss to 31 pounds. And I'm very excited about that. The other thing that I'm excited about when it comes to this weight loss thing is I am now three pounds under my pre-pregnancy weight, which is fabulous. I'm fitting into clothes that I, I had not been able to wear for a long time. Some of my work clothes, I need new work pants because my work pants are too big. And I, I hear this all the time when I'm leaving for work, I can hear my mom saying, Tiffany, those pants are too big for you. <laughs> Why are you wearing those big old pants? I need to go shopping and buy some new work clothes. And that is a good problem to have. I've dropped a jacket size at work. It's fantastic. Things are going well. Um, I do have to uh, clean up the edges a little bit and get uh, more focused about continuing the weight loss. When you have success in a weight loss journey, sometimes you tend to relax and not, uh, you relax a little bit and uh, yeah, I've been guilty of that. So I don't, I want to keep the momentum going. I want to keep going. I have a new goal for the uh, coming months and that is for me to lose eight pounds. I thought I would give myself little small milestones to reach. So eight pounds is my next weight loss goal. I hope y'all will keep up with me while I go for this eight pound weight loss. And that is it for this update for week 10 and 11 four pounds down for these two weeks, com uh, completely down 31 pounds and three pounds under my pre-pregnancy weight. Yay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call that a win. You know, there are things that I need to, to work on, but I'm gonna call this a win for this update and be happy with those numbers. The other thing is for you guys to tell me how your week is going. How's your weight loss journey going? What have some of your challenges been and what are you doing to overcome those challenges? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're on a weight loss journey yourself. Catch up with me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if this is your first visit and you haven't done that already. Keep up with us, keep up with the weight loss journey and check out some of the other videos on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next update. I will also see you guys for Friday Live. I hope that's Friday at noon. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Bye.